we finally have an update on the Slayer glitch that is actually plaguing all of PvP within the Division 2. This is not only in the Dark Zone, but also Conflict. So let's go ahead and jump into it. What's going on, YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. So sit back, relax, grab that popcorn. Don't forget to hit that like. Subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know what you think in the comment section below. But we all know I love this weapon. It's the Slayer. Let's be real. I have been running around with this thing on my back for years and years. I think for all of my build videos for years, I mean hundreds of build videos, let's, <laughs> let's be honest here. For all of these build videos, I've had the Slayer as my secondary. It was first released during the very first holiday event for this game. Uh, back in, I believe, what, like year three, I believe? Some, like way, way back, long time ago. Regardless, it's a snowball gun. It's a gimmick. It, it's, it's pretty funny, right? I mean, when we pull up this bad boy, not only does it have the cute little snowflakes that fall off of it, but it's a snowball gun. You know, you, you hit a person in the head, it confuses them. It's pretty funny. But it does not uh, really have practicality to it. Like, yes, you can use it in, you know, the game, but it doesn't really help you too much. It's just funny, right? Well, during this latest summer event, they brought back the Slayer, and this time the Slayer has a glitch, okay? So in the Dark Zone and in Conflict, what you can do is you can shoot these snowballs in the air, and while they are in the air... You can either turn them into projectiles, you can turn them into grenades, or you can turn them into traps. And this will not only give you a damage glitch of sorts, but it will also completely bog out whatever server you're in, forcing people to get deltaed or, you know, having to restart their entire game. Now, I did a video on this what, probably a week or so ago because I started seeing videos pop up on this and I wanted to spread awareness to get this thing fixed. And well, we finally have an update. So let's go ahead and jump over to Twitter for our update. Ha Just a reminder, all of this information and more is on my Twitter page, X if you nasty. So follow me over here at Kamikaze Von Doom for all division news before I make a YouTube video and you can join the over 10,000 followers we have over here. Now, this is uh, an update to the known issues board. This was not posted by the devs or anything like that. This was just merely an update to the known issues board. Like we all know, whenever I do my news updates or breaking news or anything, I typically check the known issues board just to make sure everything's up to date or if there's any changes and whatnot. And well, today when I was checking, hey -oh, we found something new in the in-progress category. So if we click on this bad boy, this was updated eight hours ago by UB April, shout out. And this is planned for title update 21.5. Now this title update is set for Tuesday. That is in a week. Now how do I know that? Well, if you go back to your game and you go to the latest Keener outfit... It ends in six days and 10 hours. This bundle, it took a title update for it to appear and it will take a title update for it to disappear. This is typically how they work with their big apparel events or big bundles. And that will be nothing different when Keener ends in six days. So that's typically, you know, a, a nice, little, nice little marker for our title updates. So 21.5, I would assume that would be on Tuesday. That would not only get rid of that outfit, but then also fix the Slayer. Now they did note here that uh, Slayer Snowball airborne projectiles can be changed into grenades or throwable skills while shooting. And that's what I was talking about with the traps, where they're shooting all these snowballs in the air they switch to their traps, and then all of a sudden, all those snowballs turn into traps, and then they'll switch to grenades, and then they'll all switch to grenades, and then just blow up everybody, and then all of a sudden, the server is bogged down, and everyone gets delted, and there we go. 
game over. Now, I, I've seen clips of this time and time again. I mean, let, let's see. I could probably pull one up. Let me see. Now, big shout out to Non Chrissy for this uh, clip. Uh, non Chrissy sent this to me uh, via awesome. Xbox. But look at that. And this is in conflict. Serious you see this? And that is exactly what the Slayer glitch looks like. Now back to the known issues board, okay? So the Slayer glitch is set to be fixed for 21.5, assuming that will be on Tuesday. And then that would also mean that on Tuesday, they would fix the Dark Hours leaderboard. Um, this was set to be completed. I thought it was the last patch, but it says here 21.5 as well. Let's see if there are any other changes here. Looks like... Nothing else. The call for backup functionality is still here with no fix yet. Has not been updated since July. The classified assignments has not been updated since July. The agent sprinting has not been updated since March. Okay. The Palisade Steelworks has not been updated since March. And the reanimated has not been updated since March. So a lot of these things have not been changed for months and months. Let's see, this one has not been updated since February. Jeez. And drag off has not been updated since April. So the only thing new here, the only thing being changed, it looks like will be the Dark Hours Raid leaderboard and the Slayer glitch but again all of this information and more is on my twitter page x if you nasty so follow me over here at kamikaze von doom for all your division news before i make a youtube video that is it for me have a nice day take care of yourself i'll see you in the next one peace